Hello everybody, welcome to this guided tutorial on a very important resource which is the virtual lab on uh, Amrita website and uh, it is going to be an integral part of your curriculum for practicals. So let's begin by going on Google and typing Amrita virtual lab and uh, you will see the website appear vlab.amrita.edu and you can click on that and it will take you to the virtual lab web page and on this web page you can uh, go on the right hand corner here and click on login and it will ask you for registration and uh, you can create an account and on this registration page you can uh, enter all your information your email id uh, your uh, particulars, name, uh, affiliation and once you are done with that you can click register. So I have already registered on this website so I am just going to log in from my account. So once you have logged in you can go back to the home page and it will give you the uh, entire list of the virtual labs that is there. So it's a very comprehensive resource. So for uh, just the practical purpose uh, to practice on this website, uh, let's go to this physical science link and uh, let's see uh, a practical that we can perform. Uh, let's go to the elastic and inelastic collision under mechanics. So you can click on this link and uh, it will take you to the experiment uh, And uh, here you can see there is information available on the theory of the experiment and uh, there is a tab that says self-evaluation so once you read the theory you can uh, do a small questionnaires MCQ and see if you get all of these uh, correct you can just choose the options and then submit here and uh, I would recommend you only progress once you have got all of the answers correct and uh, there is uh, another tab that says procedure and essentially it will give you the procedure to do the simulation and uh, you can see there is a tab that says simulator so once you click on this simulator tab uh, you will see that uh, it might ask you for uh, installing the flash player and uh, i am using mozilla firefox now so you can load this uh, animation and uh, you will see the simulator appear and now here you can perform your experiment so you have all these options of uh, changing the velocity and uh, changing the mass of the object and uh, you have two objects they will be colliding and uh, in the first option we will try to perform a perfectly elastic collision And the experiment is recording the uh, values of uh, kinetic energy, velocity and momentum before collision and after collision. So uh, the same experiment uh, you can do for the uh, case where the two objects are approaching each other. All you have to do is uh, you have to choose a negative velocity. So let's say start. And again you can see the uh, values for before and after collision they are appearing so if you want to perform for the inelastic collision uh, from this choose type you can choose inelastic option the two objects should stick to each other and that is what you are seeing happening and uh, you have again the values of before and after collision and so you can uh, do all your calculations from this uh, experimental run so let's take example of another uh, experiment which is very common Newton's ring and this experiment is used to calculate the wavelength of uh, a light source if you don't know the energy that is contained in the light source so you can calculate that so again you have uh, the same pattern you have your theory and uh, you have your uh, self evaluation tab where you can uh, do the questionnaires And uh, you can explore the simulator as well.
so you have lot of options here you can select the uh, medium in which uh, you want to do the experiment you can select a different light source essentially in newton's ring you are getting interference pattern and uh, it looks like a circular fringe pattern and uh, you can just hit light on and you can see the pattern and so now we can uh, play around with this microscope position you can move about uh, and even play around with the focus here and uh, you can again move the uh, microscope uh, on the left and right positions and and then you can measure the position of the particular ring that you want to measure and you can measure on the left hand side and on the right hand side take the difference you can even change the radius of the lens uh, that you are using and uh, under the uh, theory uh, tab you will see that there is a tabular form so you can record your data in this kind of table and uh, you can do this table on excel and uh, do all your calculations so i hope uh, this tutorial is helpful for you because uh, it's an important resource and we'll be using it uh, in all our practicals that we are doing online thank you